We're going to have another couple minutes, and then we'll get started, just to give people a chance to get down from upstairs. Well, this looks like it's about all we're going to get, so let's see where to start. Um, basically, how did I get involved with Garfield the Cat? I'm a big, bad hacker dude. Well, I lived in Titusville, Florida, bedroom community to the Kennedy Space Center and Cape Canaveral Spaceport Station. Um, and uh, a fifth grade teacher uh, gave the web address of my then CheshireCatalyst.com website to his fifth grade class. I got some fan mail. Well, big bad hacker dude does not want to be a role model to fifth grade students. So I couldn't fix this. I had to find somebody who could. And that's when I found Professor Garfield. Now, apparently, If you put glasses on something or someone, they appear to be more professorial. <clears throat> um, and normally I'm seen with my glasses, so it's uh, not uh, too bad today. But Professor Garfield here does have glasses. And um, his, his basic job is to teach his doofus kitten, Nermal, not to be stupid on the internet. Why? Well, because in this sector of the Garfield universe, uh, his nemesis, Odie the dog, is mean and evil and wants to steal Nermal's passwords and basically mess up his computer. So we've got to keep Nermal safe from Odie. Um, basically, um, we're teaching Nermal to be safe on the internet. And if some elementary or middle school students happen to catch the lessons as well, so much the better. At least this big bad hacker dude doesn't have to teach the lessons. Um, let's see. We are at, uh, if you Google uh, Garfield Foundation, uh, you can find links to this stuff. And uh, unfortunately, professorgarfield.org is off the air currently which I thought was very embarrassing when I looked it up this morning for my talk. Um, but uh, there's a professor at NYU who's involved with it. Um, Ball State University is involved with it. And Paws Inc., which is, of course, uh, the creator of Garfield, uh, is involved with it. Um, it's very cool that uh, all these people want to help educate the youth of America on how to properly use a computer and the internet, and not get messed up. Um, let's see, that's pretty much the lecture. It's, it's short but sweet, because that's all there is to it. It's uh, go back to your fifth grade students, or elementary students, or middle school students, and send them over to uh, the Garfield websites. Have them go through the comic books that are up there online. Uh, have them learn as Nermal learns, uh, how not to be taken advantage of by Odie and his ilk. <laughs> and um, hopefully, uh, we'll get the word out. Um, the youngsters need to be taught, and not by a bit, big bad hacker dude. Um, any questions or 
comments? Yeah, it's a very short uh, talk, uh, but you can see that um, there really isn't that much to it. Bring up Garfield, go through his stories, and he will explain to your youngsters as to how to be much safer on the internet than they could be. Uh, that's the whole point of the exercise. Uh, make the internet safe for people. Um, make them aware of the evil dogs out there that want to mess up their internet access. And uh, hopefully, they'll have better times on the internet. Let's see what else we have out here. Uh, some other images of Garfield and Professor Garfield. Literacyworldwide.org, interesting. For digital safety with Professor Garfield. Can you just go back to before it became Garfield? You were saying what was it? I'm sorry? Before, before it became child friendly, what were you doing? Can you give a little more of a backstory again? Well, um, I'm a big bad hacker dude, and uh, but also in Titusville, I hang out in a place called Space View Park okay. for every rocket launch from the Kennedy Space Center right across the river from Titusville. I think that's where I first met this fifth grade teacher. And uh, we probably got to talking and I explained about the Cheshire Catalyst, my big bad hacker identity. And um, he may have thought it cool to turn it over to his fifth grade class, but it freaked me out. <laughs> and uh, I just don't want to be responsible for the kids going to the dark side. Um, and I need the help of Garfield the cat, Professor Garfield, to uh, turn him over to the light side of the horse. So, let's see, what else have we got here? Um, do a visit on that. Professor Garfield and taking a look. Create, read, play. And that's something I believe in. Don't work at learning your computer. Play with it. Try things out. See what it really does. Those drop down menus across the top of your screen, drop them down, take a look at them. Try things out, see what they really do. Not just what the instruction manual tells you they do. You might be surprised. see. Professor Garfield's Extreme com Comics. Um, so if you do a Google search on Extreme Comics Garfield, you'll probably wind up here. Um, ah, more Garfield comics and more Professor Garfield. Let's see what this video does. Ah, okay. Lessons, hmm, one of five. Life skills of cyberbullying, self-esteem, self-control, and peer pressure. Topics that need to be brought up to the kids uh, so that they're warned about them and uh, they know to steer clear of them or uh, otherwise uh, know what's going on. Um, hmm. No, nope. okay. That's not going to let me do what I want to do there. Garfieldfoundation.org. Hmm. 
couldn't find what we were looking for. Okay. Look at the student video. Hmm. All right. Yes. So, so the website is not up and running, right? Apparently not. Yes. So what, what are some stuff we can expect from the website if it is up and running? Can you talk a little bit about the content of it? it these videos I'm trying to bring up should be there. Um, Ball State University probably has them on their site. But they're designed it. it wasn't yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with the help of uh, uh, Jim, what's his name, uh, Garfield Strader. See what Wikipedia has. Other media. So let's try something else. Apparently there was a computer game for the Atari called Big Fat Hairy Deal, which is a common uh, expression of Garfield's cat. Another one called Garfield, A Tale of Two Kitties. And there's Garfield 2 in Europe.
Created as a partnership between the nonprofit Professor Garfield Foundation and Ball State University, the site features Jim Davis's famous cat character, who acts as a resident educat, or on a lazy spaceship. Robots help kids decide which activities to try first, and there are quite a few th of them to try. You might drop by the ArcBot to watch videos on how to draw Garfield and other animals. So this is on commonsense.org. And uh, which I found using Google on Professor Garfield. And of course, you know that Garfield hates Mondays. Some of you may not be old enough to remember Top Cat, kind of a rare character of many moons ago. Hmm. We go back to Crusader Rabbit. We go back to Crusader Rabbit. Okay. You can't scare me, I teach. Good bumper sticker. This one is at appadvice.com slash app slash Garfield dash forms of media, etc. Again, um, Google these. You can download it, run it for your friends and family. All of these Garfield comics. When I was growing up, my mother um, surprised the heck out of me. She said she didn't mind my reading comic books because I had to read them.
Professor Garfield on cyberbullying in 2012. Presented in comic book format for iOS and available online for those without an iPod or iPad. I didn't know Garfield had a mother. Hmm. These are at garfield.fandom.com under category animals. Professor Garfield on healthcare. Hmm. So, as you can see, Jim Davis and Ball State University are trying to uh, up the level of understanding by kids using our old friend Garfield the cat. Um, I think that's going to call it a day right now. Excellent. No more questions? Any questions? I didn't have any in the Matrix chat. So, hey, thank you very much, Cheshire Catalyst. We really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today. Thank you. And uh, inform us about this. And we look forward to learning more about it. Thank you much. Thank you.